very big thing in IT and Data World is certification. And Databricks of course has its own set of certifications which are constantly evolving and adjusting to market needs. Today we are going to review what those looks like in 2024. We are also going to talk about registration and Databricks Academy. Okay, beautiful people. So this is a primary page where you can find information about the certification of the Databricks. There is no need to retype the address. As always, I will put all the links in the comment section under the movie. So what you are going to see here that there is actually two types of the certification. Something what is called Databricks certification and something what they are calling Databricks speciality badges. And the idea is that certification should be broader in scope than the badges. Anyway, I'm going to show you in a second how this looks like. When it's going about that certification, you will see that there is three types of certification the data analyst certification only one so for people doing reporting dashboards business intelligence think in the company pretty cool depends who prefers what then you are going to have a data engineer so we and actually you are going to have two types of the exams associate and professional which which is a kind of tricky and the same one is going about the data scientist associate and professional so if we go into the details of any of those like a data analyst and we can do that by clicking learn more we are going to get a page which is actually pretty useful. So at the beginning, some yali yali yali, but then we are going to get a high level scope for the exam. So in this case, in case of the data analyst, SQL, data management, SQL again, visualization dashboards, no surprises here. And we are going to get the details of the exam. Well, sometimes the exam takes two hours. In this case, we have one and a half hour and the registration fee, which is 200 bucks. But unfortunately, this is not correct because on the top of that, you need to add a taxes. So it depends on your country, it will be different. And then what is also very important is the validity period, which in some cases it's a year, in some cases are two years. So just make sure that you check it. And then Databricks suggest for us some trainings. They will pretty much always suggest the instruction led training and you will get a link, which it's really expensive. Like in this case, it's 1000 US dollars and you need to add a taxes on the top of that. Some cases it will be even more, but fortunately there is no need. It's not obligatory. You don't need to do that. You have also a suggestion to do the self piece training available on the Databricks Academy. I'm going to show you that in a second. Well, and people's experience with Databricks Academy Academy is, is really different. And then what I think is the most important of that page, it's really the exam guides, which is always a PDF document, which will at the beginning, it will repeat the information from the page, but, but then you are going to get a detailed scope for the exam. And my experience is that whatever they are writing in the detailed scope here, that's what you can really expect. So a good practice is to print it out or, you know, at least have the electronic copy and just go one by one. Just make sure that you understand all the terms and you are familiar with everything what they are asking here. And at the end of the document, you will have a couple of sample questions. I think it's five of them. Well, it's also nice and you can go and check if you can crack them, like in this case identify code blocks that can be used to create user defined function. So this is the user defined function and which code block can be used to apply this function to some table. So this is definitely not correct, not correct. No, no. So that's the correct answer. And at the end you will have the answer. So free E that's correct. Just my advice would be not to be over optimistic with those sample questions. My experience is that they are a bit easier than on the exam. So even if you can crack them, just make sure that you understand all the terms from the document. Just, you know, again, go one by one. Moving back to the page, the last important thing here is the link to the exam delivery platform. Depends on the exam, there will be two places where you will be doing certification. One of the place, it will be exactly this platform, webaccessor.com. What you can do to register for the exam, you have here a link, register for the exam. And without even creating an account, you can check how it looks like. Here you are going to have a catalog of the exams, like certified data analyst, uh, data engineer associate, professional, machine learning associate, professional, Apache Spark developer, this is actually the special batch. And the same for Scala and then at the end you are going to have Hadoop. So you need to go here, choose the one you are interested in. Uh, you will need to choose your time zone, whatever it is, or if it's not listed, choose the one which you understand. And then just after choosing an hour of the exam, just accept the terms, select. They will ask you for the voucher. Sometimes if you are a Databricks customer, sometimes you can get a voucher from the Databricks representative. So you can get in touch with them and check if they have one for you. And then you go check out and you, you will need to create account at some moment of time, but it's very straightforward. 
Before the exam you will get a link to login. You will need to install a software on your computer. You can use either Windows, either Mac. I think you can also use the Chromebook. Unfortunately, you, don't, you cannot use Linux. And that's how it looks like. So the next thing to talk about is the speciality badges, which is something new. And right now we have six speciality badges, as we can see on the left. Spark Developer, Hadoop Migration Architect, Platform Administrator, and three types of architect, depends on the cloud. Once we go into the details of that, we are going to get a similar set of information and Spark Developer Badge is a bit of special. Few years ago, I remember when I was passing that, it was a separate certificate. Now they have changed the classification to Badge for some reason. But the rest looks like still a certification. It's two hours exam and scope is pretty broad. You will be able to choose your language, either Python and Scala or Scala. And I think that this is still a great certificate or badge to have when you are entering the big data world. But when we go into details of other badge, like Platform Architect, the rest of the badges will usually have smaller number of questions. That's the first thing. The second thing is that the registration fee will be different. I'm going to show you that in a second. And also the place for registering for that exam, it's also going to be different. It will, we will be doing that in the Databricks Academy. And the last thing for today, which you cannot really skip talking about the Databricks certification is Databricks Academy, ladies and gentlemen, and that's how it looks like. To get access to it, you will need to register, but you can register with an email account, at least for the time being. I have done this using a random email account just before creating that movie. And on the left side, you will have a course catalog. Now, depends if you are a Databricks customer or not, you will have a broader selection of the courses or some courses will have a different price tag. In this case, I see some courses which are free. This is a pre-recorded session. I can enroll to it or I can see the content. Or if I will go back, I see that there are also some instruction led courses like this one. And in this case, I'm choosing an event I want to participate, registering myself, and I will get a link to the webinar, which is pretty cool. If I will scroll down, I will see that some of them are actually pretty expensive. So again, the best way is to check with your company if you are a Databricks customer. To be a Databricks customer, you need to have agreement with the Databricks. It's not enough to use a Databricks and to pay for it. Now, if you use a search bar on the top, and you type interesting for your topic, then you are going to see a selection of the courses related with that topic. Plus what is very important, those courses, which allows you to pass the remaining specialty badges for which you couldn't register over here. So if you cannot find anything here, then you will find them in the Databricks Academy and going into the details, for instance, platform administration learning plan and going into learning plan structure, I see that the last lesson is actually the certificate itself, which in this case takes 20 minutes and that's the scope for that certificate. If I scroll up, then I can add it to the card. It costs 50, 50 bucks plus probably I need to pay a taxes. About Databricks Academy, the best way is just to register yourself and start playing with it. Maybe you will find it useful. It's super important to highlight that certifications and the scope of the knowledge required to pass the exams are constantly evolving. Therefore, before going for the exam, just make sure that you review the exam guide to avoid surprises. In the next episode, I will share my experience with passing Databricks Data Engineering Professional Certification Exam, which was actually pretty tricky. And if you have any suggestions how to prepare for any of those exams, please use the comment section below. It may be really helpful for some people. Thank you for watching and see you soon.